Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? He'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I ever... Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. With the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 recently released alongside the very competent and powerful backwards compatibility option, there are times when we can revisit and take a take two or another look at an older PS4 and Xbox One games playing at their best performance to what the developers actually hope for. Today, we take a look at Assassin's Creed Unity, developed and released by Ubisoft in 2014. This was the first Assassin's Creed that was developed to take advantage of the next generation of games for the Xbox One and the PS4. They overshot this game by a huge margin, making the target hard to reach even on the PC for years to come. The game itself pushed their engine, the Anvil Next, to add more robust crowds, lighting, and detail than ever before. Even Ubisoft themselves admitted that the focus on technology was just too strong and crushed the final product. This became very taxing to the GPU and the CPU in producing a game that runs smoothly at any frame rate. In the end, both consoles had enormous trouble being even at 30 frames per second, but usually stayed at the 20 to 25 frames per second with how extensive this game really was. This was an incredible shock to the public, as this was a game on the new next-gen hardware. The game itself would play at a 900p resolution with an uncapped frame rate that gave the game major inconsistent gameplay. Reviews reflected with this one as the worst game in Assassin's Creed's history to date. With patches down the line, they were able to optimize the game further by limiting the visuals and other aspects of the game to hit that 30 frames per second. Although better, the game still had troubles hitting that 30 frames per second cap at all. The PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X would help resolve some of the issues, but the game remained in a larger part a learning experience for Ubisoft as their next game, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, also was toned down but much more playable and fared much better. Taking a new approach to open world gaming as it was, Ubisoft took a year break and worked hard in developing new ways in gaming from Origins to Odyssey to the newly released Valhalla. Still to this day, there are those who still think that Unity was a better looking game with all what they tried to accomplish. Enter 2020 with backwards compatibility. With a faster CPU with Zen 2 architecture, boy does this make a huge difference. Assassin's Creed Unity now runs at a constant 60 frames per second with virtually no hiccups in gameplay with the visual glory the game was meant to be. And players can see from the beginning without compromise how smooth the game is. Doing so, you must have the original disc or purchase the digital version. This will work on Series X and S. Once you install the game to your hard drive, do not update the game with any update no. patches at all. The game will be in its original code to take advantage of the newly high-powered CPU. Ensure that you are not connected to the internet or the game will not allow you to play without an update. Playing offline, you are able to play the original game at 60 frames per second. I was unable to test this on the PlayStation 5, as I have yet to own the system, but hopefully down the line. The game runs smoothly without issue and looks fantastic with better lighting and the benefits of 416 by anti-strophic filtering for cleaner textures that was removed to hit a cap 30 frames per second patch. This game now plays and looks transformed to a new game that's now playable as it should be and the way it was always meant to be. 
although not an easy plug and play option to get the best out of Unity, but well worth it once you see the game that was once unplayable blistering forward at 60 frames per second like it was nothing at all with the highest in visual fidelity Ubisoft had in mind for a true next gen game in 2014. It is amazing on the tech Ubisoft concentrated on was so way ahead of its time that it took six years to do the game justice and to finally see a final product worth playing again. That's it for me on this take two on Assassin's Creed Unity on Xbox Series X. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and gray. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Damn.